game. Wake and bake, guys. I got a really cool recipe for you today. If you're interested in that, if not, uh... <laughs> now I'm gonna make a little bit more than the recipe says, so you might see more food than it seems to be. But I'm gonna give you the recipe uh, for the proper amount so it can fit in your mixer, because um, you know sometimes a mixer bowl isn't big enough, and then you hate the recipe you got. <coughs> Also, you don't know where to put so much. Uh, so this recipe make, makes um, a couple of small uh, cake molds. Uh, but you can put it anywhere. You can make Twinkies with it if you want. You can make cupcakes. Uh, cupcakes are actually really good. Uh, but I recommend a bigger cake because um, it gets, um, it's more, um, Moist. <laughs> I hate that word. Uh, okay, so now, surprise, surprise, this is a lavender cake. Uh, lavender doesn't only go in soap. Uh, you can actually eat it and it's delicious. Uh, you can put it in um, peach jam. It tastes as delicious. Uh, or you can make a cake with it. Uh, you can put it in jams, actually. It's, uh, it's really good. Um, or jellies if you're more hardcore okay so what you're gonna need first this is a several step recipe so uh, get a pen and write this write this down uh, so you gotta first mix where you're gonna have 25 grams of almond powder uh, one gram of lavender flowers and a hundred and nine gram of grams of sugar uh, let me show you. Now, I don't know where you can get this in wherever the fuck you live, but uh, here you can get them at the market. Uh, and it's uh, flour, it's, uh, it's edible, so uh, all good. There you go. Super blue lavender edible from France. Okay, so you need, you need one gram of flour, flour of lavender flowers and 109 grams of sugar. Okay, so you got that. So you got that part and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those ingredients and you're gonna put them in uh, your mixer, which I don't have because I was using, using it. Um, so you're gonna blend them together to uh, sort of like powder the, the lavender and to make it rub with the sugar so it, you know, it gets a little extra flavor. Now, once you have that in your mixer bowl, you're gonna weigh 250 grams of sugar, 215 grams of butter, and you're gonna mix it with the first mix. Okay, we're good all, all, all the way here. Don't worry, I won't miss any ingredients. I'm stoned, but I'm not that stoned yet. We'll see how it lands. Um, okay, now, another thing, make sure that your um, butter is room temperature because uh, it's going to make the, the mixing easier and uh, make sure that your cream is warm, not warm, but like kind of room temperature also, actually let me beat it a little, um, same for your eggs, you're going to need eggs. Um, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna give you the whole recipe. Uh, <clears throat> so 25 grams of almond powder, one gram of lavender flowers, uh, 109 grams of sugar, then 250 grams of sugar, 250 grams of butter, four eggs, 280 grams of fresh cream no liquid cream no sour cream no yogurt either cream fresh cream the thick one like mm, look at that um, and 
336 grams of flour, flour, <laughs> farine, <laughs> five grams of baking powder, baking powder, not baking soda, please. It's not the same thing. And four grams of salt, sea salt, not table salt, sea salt. It tastes better. You grind it, you make it into little dust, or you get the one that is already like a tiny dust, and that's it. You're gonna sift together the flour, uh, the baking powder, and the salt. Now just put the salt back. I'm sure it's not, it's not gonna go through on your um, thingy. And that's all you need. Uh, after, you're gonna need some uh, some lavender flower flowers and some sh sugar and some water but I'll get to that later because that's for the icing uh, and I think you're already pretty mixed up right now um, okay so we're gonna mix this shit shit and then you are gonna add the eggs one by one um, I'm doing it a little bit more so it'll take me more time but you know what you're gonna do is you add one you mix so let's do that Reminder, make sure that they're room temperature because otherwise they're going to make your butter get cold and hard and then you're going to end up with a not soft cake. Make sure you scrape along the way.
Okay, so all the way here, don't be afraid to go hard and whip it good. Okay, so now you're gonna end up with a cute little mix that looks like this, look at that. Mmm, oh fuck yeah, so creamy man. Yay, okay. Then you're gonna add the cream. slowly because uh, I'm paranoid if you over mix after this it just goes down And you mix. Just a bit. like a little uh, revolving motion scraping all the way to the bottom going back up turn it upside down and you mix until you kind of stop seeing uh, powder you add another third, do the same thing. Scrape the scraper. There you go, you want to keep it fluffy. And you add the last third of uh, the flour. 
flour, baking powder, salt mix. And you continue mixing. Now, the reason why I, oh shit, yeah. The reason why the, I prefer to put the salt with the, uh, at, at the end is because it kind of keeps it from dissolving and it gives you little like sparkles of salt of salt when you when you're eating your pastry and it's pretty cool I like that and make sure that there's no more uh, leftover uh, you know leftover powder that hasn't been well mixed because uh, that's gonna show up on your cake and you definitely don't want that now if you're like me uh, what I do is that I mix it a little with the with the whisk and uh, there you go yeah there's a little part that hasn't Now it's a thick mix, so um, don't be surprised. It's, it's heavier than uh, than you would think, but it's also really thick and really rich and really creamy. And you'll see when you see when it comes out. So then you're gonna put it in a mold. two uh, cute baby cakes uh, I did a little extra so I got a little bit more um, with this one you can fill them up depending on your mold it's gonna get to a certain height but uh, you can fill them up up to uh, three quarters and it's gonna make a nice crust it's gonna just grow up oven until they're baked which is uh, whenever if you uh, 
poke it with a with a toothpick or a knife, it's gonna come out clean. But I'll show you. So we got a couple of cakes out of the oven. Now, like I told you, to check if they're done, what you're gonna do is dip. I like dipping a knife. And if it comes out just clean like that, you're good to go. Same for the other one. And this is what I did with the leftovers. It's gonna be a little surprise. Okay, now for the icing you need 100 grams of mineral water 100 grams of sugar the juice of one lemon and a spoonful of a teaspoon of uh, lavender flowers okay so once the the syrup is uh, boiling you add the lavender to it and you're gonna let it infuse for a, for a few minutes. Mm. Mm. So once it's uh, cold, you strain it. And look at that, it's gonna give you a little color. Then you add the lemon juice. It's gonna be cute. And then we're gonna mix it with icing sugar and make uh, make icing. We got our cakes. Nice and cute, look at that. And we got our syrup for our icing. And we got some icing sugar. And now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna mix them together till we get a nice consistency. Consistency. When it's nice and smooth. So. There we go. Now, how much icing sugar depends on how runny you want your, your icing. Look at that, this is really cute. It came out a little pink. Ooh, look at that, that's pretty. Hope you can appreciate the color.
we'll make a little bit more. <laughs> It's better to have uh, more than this. Okay, now let's make sure we're just right. Make sure you're clean along the way.
And some more over here. 